Hi guys. So in today's video, I will be showing you the EA that I have developed to trade the uh, liquidity strategy. Um, first, let's have a look at the um, options in the EA. So this is the EA. You can change the name here if you want uh, the uh, name to be um, uh, different. Uh, you can just change it here and then you can choose any name you want. Uh, the start hour I'm using is from 8 to uh, 18, including the 18. So it's uh, 8 to 19. Uh, it will stop at 19. Uh, this is GMT plus 2. This is the, the time for me uh, where I trade from uh, 6 a.m. to uh, 16 uh, p.m. GMT time. This will include the uh, European and um, London and the part of the New York session. So I trade the uh, buy and the sell. Now, the initial sell level and the initial buy level, uh, I will uh, explain it in a bit. Now, in the lot information, so I will be using risk per trade. So I want to risk 0.5% per trade. So I will be using the lot mode three. If you want to have a fixed lot size for every trade, you can use here two, and then you can set the fixed lot to whatever you want. The risk per trade is 0.5%. Uh, the risk to reward ratio is eight. And um, the magic number is 68. So if uh, you are using uh, different EAs on the same pair, um, on the same MetaTrader, you can just uh, make sure that they have different um, magic numbers so that they will not like interfere with each other. And then the pips filter here, it's important. Here it's 15 pips. Now, what this means is that if the candle that produces the uh, signal is bigger than 15 pips, then we will not have a uh, trade because we want to have a risk to reward ratio um, like uh, one to eight. So if we will have like a 50 pips uh, move, it will be very difficult to be able to get this uh, risk to reward ratio, okay? So now let me uh, show you the uh, advantages of uh, using uh, this uh, high um, uh, reward uh, to risk ratio because uh, you will see that it's very uh, useful, especially with prop firms. So let's uh, let's uh, have a um, here, for example, an example on the euro US uh, on the GBP US dollar, uh, March sixteen. Okay. So as we said, we will at the, this time, we will just uh, find the uh, two um, values that we are looking for, which are the um, liquidity lines from the previous session. So the first liquidity line is um, this one. It's obvious like the cell and then the second liquidity line, when we have two liquidity lines, as in this case, very near to each other, we should consider taking the lower one because if the market will grab the liquidity, usually what it will do, it will just hit both liquidities and then start to go up. So on the buy side, we will have 1.2060. On the sell side, we will have 1.2111. So what we will do, we will come and then we will put here 1.2111 and on the buy side it's 1.2060 okay and we will let it run start now uh, we are running uh, every tick so it will be a little bit slow but um, it's fine um, you have to uh, also note that uh, the ea if it will reach a target which is uh, 8 to 1 then it will stop trading. So it's up to you if you want to uh, continue taking different trades or what. But the uh, main aim of this uh, EA is to help you get 8 to 1 risk to reward ratios, uh, like um, to be able to uh, pass prop firms. Okay. So let's see here. Um, okay, we are waiting for a, for a trade. So if it will hit first, the uh, buy liquidity, it will uh, just focus on buying. And then if it's uh, going to hit the uh, sell liquidity, it will just focus on selling. 
So let's see which one it will uh, hit first and then it will start to trade it. Okay, it will uh, calculate automatically the target and the stop loss. So yeah, it took the sell liquidity first, which was 1.2988. So it was this one and the uh, stop loss 1.2107, which was this one. And the target was here. So yeah, the little bit of difference is because of the values, but it reached the target. And as you can see here, it closed with a very good target and it didn't take any more trades. Now you cannot also hear something. The absolute drawdown, which is what prop firms care about. Um, when you start the day, it was $154, which is like very, very low. And this maximal drawdown and relative, they are when the market went down here like this, and then it went up. This is like the relative drawdown best, uh, uh, based on the best uh, price it achieved. And then it went down to target. Okay. So I will show you another example. Uh, I will take an AUDN example like this, because I want to show you that even when we don't have it going directly to the target from the first trade, we can still have a good result. So this is on the AUDN. Okay. AUDN. So also the same day. Now the, uh, levels that we should be watching for the AUDN. Okay. As you know, we have the liquidity from this level, it's 88.22 and the liquidity from this level is 87.82. So we will go here and it will be 88.22 and here it will be 87.82. Okay. So let's run it again and see how it will work. Okay. So yeah, it will be, um, also uh, the same reasons we have two liquidity. Uh, I mean, anyway, the liquidity from the previous session is just the lower one anyway. And, um, the liquidity from the upper, uh, side is just, um, also here. Now there's a 15 pips filter as, uh, as I showed you and the reasons why. Now, if you wanted to add more uh, analysis, like for example, uh, we have support and resistance and stuff, you can. But this is just based on the strategy uh, rules that I have described the other day. And it's just uh, trying to work on one time frame, which is the five minutes. Okay, so now we are just waiting for trade. Okay. It took a trade at the first day was 88.24. It hit a stop loss. So not here that the stops are very tight. So this first stop loss was like $190. The second one was also small $50. The third one was like $122. So as you see, the stop losses are really small. So this is what trading with a prop firm should look like you, you can take like three lots uh, or five lots, but the slots are, um, with a, with a very tight stop loss, even this one, like three lots. And this was very small, um, loss. So yeah, let's see now it took another trade here. And as you can see, it went to the target. So you can see here, it went like one, two, three, four stop losses, and then one profitable trade uh, recovered everything and it stopped trading, as I told you, when it achieves a target. Now, what you have to note here, the absolute drawdown, which is the maximum drawdown from the uh, initial capital, was $547 based on a 50,000 account, which is like 1% approximately. Now, uh, as I said here, the maximum drawdown, which you see here, it's not um, the uh, real drawdown because it can go down and then be in profit and then go up and go down. So it's like, um, this is like based on the best equity it achieved. So this gives you a very good idea about the CA and how you can use it to pass your prop 
challenges. So if you need any uh, more questions about this, you can contact me on the links uh, in, on my Telegram and the links uh, are in the description below or on, on my email. And if you have any comments, any questions, you can also write in the comment section below. Okay, guys, have a nice day.